Hey there, thanks for watching. I am coming at you with a midweek vlog, kind of a stop what I'm doing and just talk to you because I feel like there are just a couple things to get caught up with. So it's about, it's almost one o'clock on Tuesday. And my plan is to finish out my work day. I have my screens in front of me. Um, I have kind of my, my personal stuff and then I have my work stuff. And I'm actually finishing up my lunch break at the moment from work, from my day job and about to um, dive back into it. And then my plan for today is to go to a public library and actually sit down and start working on some of my business stuff for my personal business. So just an update, the reason why this video may be in 1040p or whatever the upgraded format is, is because I'm using my phone. I had been using my laptop, just the camera, the eyesight camera in my MacBook. So now I'm using my phone and that's probably why the quality has been upgraded. I'm also hoping, I'm hoping you can hear me, I'm using this um, Rode mic for my, uh, my phone and hoping that comes through as well. So, I am hoping to keep you updated on my progress through the rest of this day. Hey there. So my day job work day has ended and I'm in the car going to the library for my evening business work session. So I'm excited to try this out. I would try to work in the evenings in my regular home office, which is also my bedroom. And I found that to be a little bit distracting because it was just too close to my bed and it was too easy to just turn on Netflix and lay down on my bed. So that wasn't working. So I'm trying getting out of my house and going to a location that is not my house and going to take, looking forward to taking advantage of the library for that, hoping it's gonna work out. So I apologize for the terrible angle, it's just the safest way I can mount the camera while driving. So that clip that you will have seen before this one is me exercising in my room. And that's just how I get it done. I get it done in the margins in between. I aim for 30 minutes of cardio exercise five times a week, every week. And I track it in my Fitbit that I got for free from my insurance company. And that has been really helpful for me in number one, my mood, number two, my physical health, and number three, my sort of aesthetic health. So that's what I do. And I have a gym membership to retro fitness, but it's 10 minutes to get out of my house and go to a gym. I also have a treadmill in my basement and I can do that too. But sometimes like if it's during the workday and I have like 15 minutes, a 15 minute break in between calls when I can just run in place or walk on the spot, that is what I will do. So I try to make time for health and fitness whenever I can. So the topic that I wanted to discuss today is just getting it done because someone left a comment that kind of um, got my hackles up <laughs> and I know when that happens it's because there's something in me that I need to address and for the most part like 99% of the comments I get just kind of roll off my back um, and I would say 90% of them are super positive and if you've left a comment if that's you thank you so much I so so appreciate it but this comment made me think because it was a very long-winded comment and I know I've done that myself. I've left long comments on people's videos and it's just not helpful. <laughs> I don't know if it's not, it's not appreciated. I mean, it is, any comments appreciated, but long chunks of, com of, of dialogue just aren't really easy to digest. So I've learned myself to cut down my comments to short sort of bite-sized, um, pieces of information or if you have a genuine question then ask a genuine question but something else I've learned is that content creators people that put themselves out on YouTube don't owe us the viewers anything I and I've had to learn that like if someone asks a question you don't feel like answering it you don't have to answer it and that's kind of something that I've learned um, to just be okay with some things are private um, I share a good deal of my income numbers, and if somebody else wants more information, you can ask, that's your right, and I can say, hey, I kind of answered that already, and if that answer is not okay for you, then gosh, I'm, I'm so sorry you feel that way. Um, so this comment in particular really made me examine kind of 
what I've been doing because it spoke to some fears that I already had. And in essence, the comment said that it didn't really seem like I was making much progress. And I can, I can see how it might look that way on the outside. I can totally see that. And that's something that I feel myself on the inside sometimes too. And it gets really frustrating because I feel like I should be further along. And I know I want to be and I can be further along. That's the thing is that I can be if I just get it done. If I start taking action, if I stop being indecisive and make decisions and take steps and then keep moving and just put in the work. You got to put in the work. And that's what I'm learning to do um, and to do more consistently. So that was one thing is that I didn't seem to be making much progress. And the second part was it's like you start something and then get frustrated and then have to start all over again. And I can see that a little bit too. And here's what I say to that and to myself is Yes, I've tried some things and they haven't really worked out. I, for the most part, I'd say 90% of the reason I'm st still where I am is because I haven't given it the effort. I just haven't put in the effort. It's not that I've started and gotten frustrated. I just haven't tried. One of my biggest problems is that I don't put in the effort I need to. And this, especially when it comes to business, is something that, that I know I will fix before I see any meaningful success. I will be required to put in more work and more effort before I see any success. That's something that I know. When it comes to starting over, I don't think I've ever really started anything over because it's like running a race. If you fall down while you're running the race, you don't go back to the starting line and start all over again. You pick yourself up from where you are and you continue on. So that's how I see my business and my income and my earning journey going forward. So that's the direction that I am taking, that I'm in the process of taking and working forward. And it it's one of those comments that's like, oh, okay. And I'm choosing to use it to inspire myself and to motivate me to do better. And this person also suggested that I cut more from my budget, which is kind of lumped in there with the generic, you know, you spend too much category, which I can see compared to someone who lives um, a different lifestyle. I can see how spending $200 a month on eating out is a lot of money, $236 eating out, um, which is a tenth of my budget, uh, which is a tenth of my, my income, um, is a lot. That's not a tenth of my income. That's... Um, a tenth of my disposable minus housing. Regardless, uh, thank you. I, I guess I, I just want to say thank you so much for your input. I, I appreciate your comment and your engagement. I can feel free to do with that information what I will. That's not the life I want to live. I don't want to live a life of cost cutting. That's not financial independence to me. Financial independence to me is being able to go out whenever you want and being able to eat wherever you want whenever you want. So that's the life that I'm building right now and that I'm moving toward. And I know I can get there. So that's the journey that I'm on right now. And it's, it's a matter of choice. It's a matter of actually doing the work to put me on that path. So that's what I got for you today. I will try to insert some clips, some very silent clips of me working at the library. I'm excited to do that because I've been to this library before. Uh, I'm a huge patron of the libraries in um, our county system and I hope that it will be a decent place to work. I hope I hope that I'm allowed to work there. We're, the libraries are open now so that's good. I'll just have to wear a mask. Um, I'll be whipping out my laptop. If they don't have internet I have um, pen and paper to work on. So excited to give that a shot. So thank you so much for watching. If I don't add some extra clips in, 